Learn how to install your restoration rosettes and short plates from Nostalgic Warehouse in this quick video tutorial. Once you receive your hardware, open the box to see what is included. The box includes two knobs, two short plates or rosettes, one spindle, two nylon bushings, one Allen wrench and four hex screws, one privacy release key, included with privacy sets only, one latch, one strike plate with two wood screws, one face plate with two wood screws, two one and three fourths inch machine screws, and two one and a half inch machine screws, and one privacy pin, included with privacy sets only. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver and measuring tape. Remove any current hardware you may have on your door. If this is a new door, make sure there is already a pre-drilled borehole. Use your measuring tape to measure from the edge of the door to the center of the borehole. Standard back sets are either 2 and 3 eighths inches or 2 and 3 fourths inches. Standard doors are 1 and 3 eighths inches thick or 1 and 3 fourths inches thick. This will help you determine which machine screws to use. If you have a privacy set, locate the privacy function hole on the latch. Make sure the threaded side of the privacy function hole is installed facing the interior side of the door. Insert the latch into the door through the bore hole. If you have a privacy set, make sure the non-threaded privacy release hole faces the outside of the door. The beveled side of the tongue should face towards the door jamb when the door is open. If it is facing the wrong direction, rotate the tongue to face the correct direction. Place the faceplate over the latch tongue on the edge of the door and use the provided wood screws to attach the faceplate to the door. Insert the spindle through the latch from the outside of the door with the button side first, as shown here. Make sure you push the button down and hold down during insertion. Install the exterior plate by sliding it onto the spindle. For passage plates, there are no visible holes on the exterior half of the plate. When installing the exterior half, make sure the privacy release hole is adjacent to the door's edge. Take one nylon bushing and slide it onto the spindle. Screw the knob onto the spindle. Take two hex screws and screw them into the knob using the Allen wrench. This will secure the knob to the spindle. Make sure hex screws are installed at a 90 degree angle, for example, in the 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock position. The knob must be oriented so that the hex screws seat flush against the flat sides of the spindle. Tighten the screws at a 90 degree angle. Slide the interior plate onto the spindle. For a privacy plate, there is one additional hole for the privacy pin. Make sure the privacy pin hole is adjacent to the door's edge. Using the machine screws, secure the interior plate. Choose the appropriate screw length for your door thickness. The machine screws thread into the posts on the exterior plate. Slide the nylon bushing onto the spindle. Take the interior knob and screw it onto the spindle. For privacy sets, insert the privacy pin in the hole and twist to tighten.
Install the last two hex screws into the knob using the Allen wrench. This will secure the interior knob to the spindle. Make sure the hex screws are installed at a 90 degree angle, for example, in the 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock position on the ferrule. Turn both knobs to ensure they are on securely. If the knobs do not turn freely, loosen the hex screws on one knob and rotate the knob a quarter turn counterclockwise. Then, re-tighten the hex screws. To ensure functionality, push the privacy pin in and check that the exterior knob does not turn. To test the privacy release function, with the door open, push in the privacy pin. Then insert the privacy release key on the outside of the door and push to unlock the door. Place the strike plate on the inside of the door jam and install with the provided wood screws. You have now correctly installed your beautiful nostalgic warehouse restoration hardware. For more information about Nostalgic Warehouse, contact our customer support team.